Here's a quick look at the switch construct. It starts with the keyword switch and then in parentheses provides some variable or something else that you want to compare. Now in this case I've populated that variable by using read host. I'm asking the user to enter a computer name. Whatever's in this variable will be compared to each of the conditions lined up inside the switch construct. Each condition gets its own construct and this is the code that will be executed if the contents of this variable match that particular value. Now in this case it's impossible for computer name to contain both this and this so only one of these will execute. The default block will execute if nothing prior has been true. Switch also supports several different switches of its own including the minus wildcard parameter. This means that this value will be compared to these values using asterisk as a wildcard. You can see here where it's possible for more than one of these to be true. If the string starts with DC, this will be displayed. If the string starts with file, that will be displayed. If it ends in LAS, or if it contains LAS anywhere in there, this will be displayed. If it contains DEN anywhere, this will be displayed. If we entered a string like DC loss den, we'd get this because the string starts with DC, this because it contains loss, and this because it contains den. You can use the break keyword to exit the switch construct immediately as soon as one of these conditions are true. With that modification, we'll see this and then this, then we're breaking out of the switch construct and none of these other conditions will even be evaluated. The break keyword will actually exit any PowerShell construct except the if construct.